Hey everybody and welcome to Boston, Massachusetts. Right now I'm on the Commonwealth Ave Mall. Today is July 7th, 2023. It's about 8.08 a.m. and about 74 degrees out. It is beautiful. Okay, so today I'm going to walk down the mall and we're going to look at these monuments. Monuments and statues, that is. Right away, we're coming up on the Alexander Hamilton statue, which is a granite statue from 1864. He was an American military officer, statesman, and founding father who served as the first Secretary of Treasury from 1789 to 1795 during George Washington's presidency. Of course, he's the subject of a very popular Broadway show, too. The base of the statue features busts of Hamilton, John Jay, and George Washington. You can take a quick close look at the statue here. You can see the bust. I know it's a little shaded in here. Hopefully the camera picks this up. I don't, if there's any, I don't think there's any writing back here. Oh, there's a little bit. Anyway, much easier to see text on this side. Oh, he died in New York, July 12, 1804. Alexander Hamilton, born in the island of Nevis, West Indies in January 1757, died in New York, 12 July 1804. We're going to continue along. It is an absolutely gorgeous summer morning here in Boston. Weather really couldn't be better right now. See all the picturesque buildings here on Commonwealth Ave. You can see it's a great place to ride your bike up this street too. As you can see the bike lanes are safely off to the left. There's plenty of room to ride. All right, so the next statue, which is on the next block, is going to be the General John Glover statue. And I'll start reading about it as soon as I cross the street. We're about to cross Berkeley Street. There's a beautiful view down towards uh, Newbury Street. Okay, so we're approaching the General John Glover statue, which was created by sculptor uh, Martin Milmore. This is a bronze statue of Colonel John Glover from Marblehead, Massachusetts, and a hero of the American Revolution. He was a three-time savior of American independence, playing key roles in the Battle of Brooklyn, Manhattan and Philadelphia. He is most famous in American history for his regiment rowing George Washington across the Delaware. It's quite a famous event. So here is the statue close up. You can pause if you want to read that text. Let's see if there's anything around back. We can continue on. On the next block, we're going to come up upon the Patrick's Collins statue.
It's a beautiful church across the street here. It's been, I don't know if it's still under construction. Oh yeah, the tower is. I actually featured this church before, but I can't quite remember its name. Okay, so we're coming up on the Patrick's Collins statue, which fe features a bronze bust of Congressman and Boston Mayor Patrick Collins, created by sculptures Henry and Theo Kitson. The memorial was dedicated in 1908 and relocated in 1966. The bust is on a granite base flanked by two bronze female statues representing America and Ireland. He was the city's second Irish-born mayor. He was noted for his protection of historical Boston spaces such as Boston Common, Daniel Hall, Old South Meeting House, and the old granary burying grounds. Actually also Copse Hill burying ground. So here is a close-up of the Patrick Andrew Collins statue. Again, just if you want to read this, just hit the pause button. And the two female statues. There's his bust. I'm not sure which one represents Ireland and which one represents America. See if there's anything on the back of it. Nope, doesn't look like it. All right, we're gonna move on. Should have probably run around the other side there, whoops. So look back. All right, so we're coming up on the Boston Vendome Hotel Fire Memorial, which is just ahead of us. The Hotel Vendome Fire Memorial commemorates victims of the Hotel Vendome Fire, which was the worst firefighting tragedy in Boston history. Very unfortunately, nine firefighters were killed during the final stages of extinguishing a fire on June 17th, 1972. The Hotel Vendome was on the intersection of Com Ave and Dartmouth Street. The work was designed, or this work, I guess a sculpture, was designed by artist Ted Clausen and landscape architect Peter White. You can see it here. Okay, so it was on June 17th, 1997, which was the 25th anniversary of the fire. This memorial was dedicated. Here we go, we get a little more detail and close up. It was a terrible, terrible tragedy. All right, so we will continue along here. It's a beautiful memorial though, I have to say. We're crossing Dartmouth Street. Okay, so we're gonna be coming up on the William Lloyd Garrison Memorial statue. The statue of William Lloyd Garrison by Olin Levy Warner was designed in 1885 and cast in 1886. William Lloyd Garrison was an American abolitionist, journalist, and social reformer. He is best known for his widely read anti-slavery newspaper, The Liberator. And here we are coming up upon his statue. Let's see it closer.
Hopefully you can read that, it's a little dark. This is just a beautiful place to go for a walk or take your dog out or anything. It's nice and shaded here too from the hot sun. All right, so the statue of military historian Samuel Elliott Morrison is by Penelope Jenks. This is a 1982 bronze sculpture installed on a granite base. It depicts Morrison holding binoculars, as you can see here. Now its feet are bronze casts of crabs, shells, and starfish uh, down here. He was an American historian noted for his works of maritime history and American history. They were both authoritative and popular. He received a PhD from Harvard University in 1912 and taught history at the university for 40 years. He won a Pulitzer Prize. Okay, so coming up next is going to be the Boston Women's Memorial by artist Meredith Bergman. It's going to be on the next block. Well, this beautiful building over here. It's like 217 Con Ave. By the way, we crossed Exeter Street. I forgot to mention that. That was the last street we crossed over. We're about to cross over Fairfield, and then we're gonna come upon the Women's Memorial. There's a beautiful view of the Prudential and the Huntington Street building there. So the city dedicated the Boston Women's Memorial on October 25th, 2003. The sculptures, yeah, sorry, they're, they're, they're here at the Commonwealth Ave Mall. It honors Abigail Adams, Lucy Stone, and Phyllis Wheatley. So here, here are the statues. So this statue is of Lucy Stone, who was born in Brookfield, Massachusetts, and was one of the first women in Massachusetts to graduate college. She's known as an abolitionist and a respected orator. She started the Women's Journal. Here is, uh, so you can pause if you'd like to read any of his text. 
and in the center here is Abigail Adams, who was born in Weymouth, Massachusetts. She was the wife of second president of the United States. She was one of the first advocates of women's equal education and women's property rights. All right, we can take a look around. Here you go, Abigail Adams. And this is Phyllis Wheatley's statue, her 1773 volume, Poems on Various Subjects, Religious and Moral, was the first book published by an African writer in America. Here you go, Phyllis Wheatley. Her text here. I don't know how well you can read that, but. It's a beautiful installation. All right, we'll move on. The next statue on the next block this is going to be the statue of Domingo Frasquino Sarmiento. Apologies if I'm not saying that correctly. And it is the final statue on the tour here and should be around the end of the, the mall, at least on this side. We're about to cross over Gloucester Street. Domingo Faustino Sarmiento was an Argentine activist, intellectual, writer, statesman, and the second president of Argentina. He found New England, specifically the Boston Cambridge areas, to be the source of much of his influence, writing in an Argentine newspaper that New England was the cradle of, modern, of the modern republic. The school for all of America. He described Boston as the pioneer city of the modern world, the Zion of the ancient Puritans. There he is. There's his plaque. All right, so that's it for all the statues and memorials. They're actually, you know, it's it's scattered with um, plaques along the, the ground near the trees, and uh, I'm sure those have um, some sort of historical significance, at least some of them too. Um, but I did not cover those today. but I will walk all the way to the end. So as usual, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like it. Um, if you like my content in general and haven't done so yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Every subscription, every like, it helps. And uh, check out my photography at Wayne Oxford Photography. If you're looking to decorate your home with New England, Boston imagery, uh, you know, tra any kind of travel imagery that I've done, check that out and consider buying a print or a mug or a shower curtain or, or one of many products. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye. Thanks for coming along.